it's in a safety device. You get some idiot, let's put a link in, because the overheat stat's not bloody working. Oh, I know what, put a bit of wire in there, that can get as hot as it wants. You're bypassing a safety device. Simple answer. Yeah. No, what's that called? The in interrupter. Thermal electric interrupter. That means that someone's bypassed it. You bypass, bypass any safety device on any gas appliance, it's immediately reportable under the GIUSP regs. Yeah? They get riddled, reported. Come in. <laughs> then they do it when they do that. Because you might walk away from that and say, I'll order you a part. I'll be back in a week. Thinking it's all right. That is there for a reason. That is there to stop any fires breaking out. Spillage. If you've got overheat, this is right above a burner. That's getting too hot could be because of the flues blocked. The flues blocked. That will get too hot in there. And that will break and not cut the burner off. Happy days, that's what it's there for. You start overriding it. That can do it at once. You get as hot as it wants, then it's not going to break, is it? The valve will keep open. Then you've got a problem. Yeah. Well, that customer has. Yeah. And if anyone's found to do in that, that seems to happen that way. They want to get canned for it. Absolutely slammed for it, and so you should be and all. I report them. I don't care if it's next door neighbour, whatever. I saw that on there. I knew you did it. I report you. It's just, it's just a no-no, yeah? It's like the hydraulics on your brakes going on your car and you put water in there in the meantime or tie up with a bit of tape. Well, that'll do for now. Let you go off driving in it. Or let a family go off driving in it. Would you report that person? I would. We need one to know. So it's just nothing like it, reportable, yeah? So thermal stuff. So if you see that, so you, you tell the assessor, don't you? Well, to remove it, put the proper part on, if you couldn't find a pop part for it, you have to order it. You, you'd, what, what, what do you do with the appliance? Idea. Idea. Do do? Cap it. We just say to them, I'll be back with that part. In the meantime, I can't use it. Cap it off. Yeah. Once you've replaced it, you've thought of that out. Got your thermal interrupter back again. Good, good old. I can put that back on there. Happy days. Now it's doing its job because you can test it. How will you test it? It's working. Pick the switch. Pull a, pull a, mm, pull yeah, pull yeah. So you get it going, get it up and running, and just simply set on the and it should go straight off. Yeah. Now, if it's like that, obviously it ain't going to go off, it's going to keep burning, isn't it? Because there is, effectively, there's a break here, so the 10 millivolts will not go through there to here. So it'll stop there, go up there, and then come back down this side. Mm -hmm. Simple. Thermal electric interrupter, thermal electric valve. What's this? Regulator. Regulator. How do you test it? Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. You can adjust on the scope. Observe the flame go up and down. You can absorb the flame because mm -hmm. you should be able to see it go up and down, can you? Yeah. And you can also, because it's got a burner pressure point there, get them there. Yeah, it's much burner pressure go up and yeah. down. Yeah, you can put your valve on. You can put your gauge on your burner pressure point. Have it on. Just pressure then TMIs, so your TMIs, and tell you, and I'll tell you what your pressure should be. If it's a range rated boiler, what do you set it at? Your rating, gas rating? It's highest. It's highest, highest. maximum setting. And then you just notice what it's set at in the first place because the customer might have a smallish house and they, they range rate the boilers, don't they, according to what heat the customer requires. Yep. It saves them making them. 15 boilers, one at 10 kilowatt, one at 12 kilowatt, one at 14. You don't need to do that. We'll make one boiler, one burner, and you just set it to the temperature you want to set it at. Because once the burner's on, it's on, isn't it? It'll just stay at that burning pressure. So you make sure that your clock, when you recall the temperature and the pressure in the first place, ask us, is that okay? Is that, is that doing you too, not, not too hot, not too cold? Yeah, that's fine. And then just once you've rated it, you can turn it back down to that burning pressure. So I'll test it, simply like that, it's up and down. So that's all you're doing with these as well. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. That one? Solenoid. Solenoid. How does that work? On and off with the switch. 
you've got an on-off switch which could re represent a thermostat, couldn't it? Yeah. So as soon as it calls for heat, it continues the electric power, electrical supply, that's so nice, which energises it, which is going to lift the magnet, lift the valve. Magnetises the top, that's now a magnet there, that black one, black bit of magnet, you see holding onto it now. Yeah, because it's magnetised now. That is lifting, pulling the valve, the gas valve underneath it, in in the armature. The gas valve is sat in there. All the I'm doing is putting a bloody grid, ma big magnet around it, that's all. Mm -hmm. And when it gets power to it, electrical supply to this, turns this into a big magnet. And the valve in there gets drawn up inside there and opens it up. So all you got there is a switch, lads, haven't you? Basically, uh, a magnetic switch. Boom. Turn it on. Lift it. How do you test it? <coughs> Fire it up. Yeah. Tuck it yeah. off. If it goes off, then it's all nice working. Yeah. Simple as that. Switch on. Switch on. Yeah, 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 yeah. On, off, on, off. Yeah, that's working fine. Yeah. Yeah, simple. Yeah. Hey. These first three, and it's thermal couple. What's this one called? Multifunctional control. functional control valve. And now we've got all these three inside in one. Mm. Yeah. So you've got your thermoelectric valve. Mm. Regulator. Mm, yeah. Solenoid. Yeah. What's that? Vitiation sensor. Vitiation tube or sniffer tube, is it? Where's mm. not where is it normally found? On fires. What fires? On the with Backboilers. Hmm? Backboilers is normally found on. Yeah. In flues. Who get it in a fire? Okay. You get an ASD on a fire. That just goes size on down. Do the same sort of thing, innit? Yeah. Which be on that. So that's got an ASD on it. The yeah. exterior of that part behind you. But this is the actual tube part of it will be found in a backboiler up the flue. Yeah. So that's a backboiler unit basically, have a fire in front of it, and the flue will come down and that will be in the flue. And the pilot light on here is taking its its premix of air, 50% premix of air that it needs, down there. Yeah. If I get vitiation taking place or spillage down the flue, that air it takes down here is now going to become vitiated. Yeah. It's not going to be a nice air. So what do you expect that flame? It's going to be cool and to it's go. going to lift off like a thermal yeah. bubble. You've all got a light. Like this, like this one. Oh, should be fucking small. Film me chat. Don't film me chat. Do a bleeding light, and I can't light it. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> but I can't get bleeding gas. Yeah. This this purging through. It takes a little bit of time. This mother. What's that scroll screw right here? So we'll light that up, get that heated up. These old units, if it's been off a bit, it'll take a bit for purging through your valve and getting down there. So I'll have a little bit of patience with it. So now that's holding. So there's any thermoelectric valve you can let go, can't you? Right. What is that? Which is that? Just cheers, mate. What is this? No. What is this? What's it called? No. What's this part called? Thermostat. Electric. Electrical. That's an electrical thermostat. It's an electrical thermostat, it's got a supply 
Have a look, Chris. Go in, so which will open the solenoid? Yeah. I'll turn it off. Same as that, but that solenoid's yeah. here, isn't it, on the valve? This is an electrical thermostat controlling 